Hey y'all, uh, this is Friday, and it's February, February something, I'm not sure, 20th maybe, 21st, but anyways, I told y'all the other day on that little mini video that I would put up a video, I tried to do it yesterday, but things just got in the way of doing that, so I figured on my way back home from my house cleaning I would pop on here yes I'm it's windy here and I look like a complete ragamuffin but who's looking <laughs> um, anyways to get to what I wanted to tell y'all about I hope y'all have the spiritual eyesight to see and appreciate the providence of God in your own lives so, this may seem completely insignificant, and this may be a little lengthy, so I'm giving you a heads up right now. This is just, you, you might not even care to listen, but here it goes. So, the insignificant things. So, the other day, I have this thing, this little wax warmer, and my daughter-in-law got me turned on to the Scentsies. The Scentsy Wax Warmers. Love the way they smell. And uh, the other day, I went to put one in my little warmer, and I'm like, well, my stash is getting kind of low. I think it's about time to find a dealer in my area for the Scentsy. So... Excuse me, I'm a little burpy here. I've been sipping on my sweet tea. Um, so it, it was it was mainly just a passing thought, but I did I did think to myself, well, maybe the next day I will go on the HOA site where community Facebook page to where uh, and ask, is there anyone up here that sells Scentsy? Okay, so this was like this is Friday's. That was Wednesday. Yesterday was Thursday. Okay, so, um, so, so yesterday I was supposed to have had a house cleaning, and uh, Elvis and I were sitting there at our little table having our morning coffee. And I told him, I says, "Well, what I'm probably going to do, I'm probably just going to go after I finish this coffee. I'm going to go jump in the shower, get dressed, get ready." get all my cleaning supplies ready and what time I have left after that I'll just do a couple of things around our house until I have to be there at 1030 so I didn't barely have that out of my mouth and the lady that cleaned for calls and she says Becky can you just not come today I've got somebody here working on my bathroom da 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 um, doing some kind of repairs. And I said, no problem, Miss So-and-so, no problem. I, well, I'll just, you know, see you, Lord willing, next week. So, oh, there, horsey. See all kinds of horses out here, and I have to talk to them when I pass them. Um, so anyways, I told Ryan, I said, well, I guess I'll just do things here around the house. And that just gives me another day to take care of my own stuff. Well, he had something planned for yesterday morning. And he got on with his stuff and left and everything. So, it's just me there at the house. And I'm like, well, I already know that I need gas to come up here to the lake today. This was yesterday. So, I think I'm just going to run down the house. Run down the uh, gas station and the gas station that I go to it's it's kind of like a general store so to speak even has a little um, kitchen area where they make breakfast and lunch and I'm thinking well it's about lunchtime um, some of their homemade macaroni and cheese sounds good so I'll just I'll ride down there and go get gas for today and get me something to eat glass of tea yeah yeah so I go down there and I walk in and there's a lady standing there um, and I'm thinking 
thinking, I bet she's a hairdresser. Okay, now I'll get to that. So I walk in and go straight to their little tea station. And at the tea station, there on the little table, other businesses like life insurance, glass companies, etc., etc., roofing companies, etc., etc., will leave their little business cards sitting there on the table. So, get my cup, and I'm about to fill my cup up with my tea, and I look, and I'm like, I cannot believe that. There was a Scentsy uh, little catalog, you know, like the Avon catalogs, but it was Scentsy, and I'm, and I just thought. Well, thank you, Lord. Thank you again. Because, um, you know, that just saves me time from making the post on Facebook and then da-da-da-da. I said, you just put that right there in front of me. Thank you. And, and yes, does that sound insignificant? I've never seen a Scentsy catalog there. Wasn't even going there to look for one, but there it was. The Lord put it right there in front of me. And, of course, it's somebody in my community. So, there was that. So, I got my tea, and I went over to the little uh, lunch buffet thing, and I'm standing there, and this lady, and there's some geese. Hello, little geese. I see all kinds of nature stuff out here. And yes, I am that person. I talk to everything I see. Um, so, when I'm standing there waiting to be waited on, the lady that I said looked like a hairdresser comes right up beside me. And she's got her phone, and she's taking a picture of the menu for the day and she says oh I'm sorry I'm not trying to break in front of you I'm just trying to get a picture of this menu so I can send it back to the girls at work so they can tell me what they want for lunch because it was about lunch time I said no 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 you're good you're good and so I don't know there was just something inside of me telling, you know ask her is she a hairdresser you know something like make conversation with this woman I would like to say that I witnessed to her, but no, I didn't do that. So I said, so you're a hairdresser? And she says, yes, ma'am, I am. I own, um, da, 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 just right up there. I said, I know exactly where you're talking about. I said, I actually got a, um, certificate to get a massage there because it's a, she also has like a massage area there at her salon. I said, I got one for Christmas. I said, I hadn't used it. And then, of course, she went on, oh, you just got to come. The guy that does it, he's, he's just wonderful, da-da-da-da-da. And she was telling me about that, and da-da-da-da-da. And um, so it kind of went silent for a second. I said, yeah, I'll get up there eventually. And um, then I, something kind of, like, got me to say this. I said, well... I said, I, I said, I used to cater years and years ago. I said, but I quit. I said, I don't do it anymore. I said, but I, I've, I've kind of halfway been thinking about starting, to, starting it back up and starting to cater some. She said, oh, that would be great. That would be great. She says, well, you, you, know, you know, when you come and get your massage, if you decide to do that, you let me know. She says, because I got seven girls working for me and... Oh, that would just be great. And I'm like, hmm, okay. And I, I saw the providence in that because here lately from time to time, I've been thinking about getting back into catering. And um, I'm like, hmm. So, so I got what I wanted. I got my little cup of macaroni and cheese and I'll went on out to the car and I thought, dad, blame it, I meant to get me some Texas Pete. So I went back in there and got those little packets of Texas Pete. And when I walked back in there, when I walked back in there, she, um, she was still standing there waiting for her orders to be filled. And she said, oh, I'm glad you walked back in. And, and in the process, she's writing down her name and number. She says, here's my name. You need to call and make that appointment to get your massage. And you know, and if you decide to do that catering, she said, you need to let me know about that too. And I'm like, hmm. So, God works in mysterious ways. Sometimes, you know. Uh, so, I am very seriously thinking about, about getting back into it. Because in the past six weeks, three of the ladies that... I clean for have canceled on me and it was legitimate reasons it wasn't just because they didn't want me coming and it was a legitimate 
reasons, but I'm thinking, oh, well, no big deal, you know, but I don't know. I'm trying to decide, well, do I want to cater and continue to house clean too? I don't know. Uh, would I make as much catering as I would house cleaning? I don't know, but it's something I'm thinking about. And yes, all this may seem kind of like, why is she even telling us this? Because God works in our behalf in ways we have no idea he's working for us. And I've been talking to the Lord and asking him, like, well, dear Lord, is this kind of where you're leading me? Because I'm not getting any younger. And um, cooking and cleaning, well, cooking cooking is less strenuous, I guess I would, that's a good word to put it, than, um, than house cleaning. Um, so, I'm thinking about that, and I'm praying about that, so we, we will see where that goes. So, I get back home, and I'm just kind of like, I cannot believe this, especially about that Scentsy thing. Okay, and on that note, you know, it's kind of like, and I'm pretty sure I made a video about the Robins, um, that I saw in my backyard a couple of weeks ago, and I said, um, in that video, I said, you know, it's amazing how God will give us the desires of our hearts. And, um, you know, it was just like, I didn't, I didn't tell anybody this. I just had the thought one day, you know, I haven't seen any robins since we've been up here. I hadn't seen robins in a long time. And it was like the very next day I look out in my backyard and there's like 10 to 15 robins. Somebody, somebody could say, well, it is springtime. And, you know, usually when spring gets near, you start seeing and, and robins are spring, but whatever. No, the way I look at it is God, God knew that I, I, I would enjoy seeing robins and he knew I would smile when I saw it. So he put robins in my backyard. Yes, he did. And he knew the other day that I wanted to get some more of those Scentsy wax melts. And he put the catalog right under my nose. So, and I, I even told Ron and told some of my friends and family, I said, it's the little things sometimes that mean so much to me. Okay, and here's another thing, y'all. As God is my witness. So yesterday, after I got back from the store and Elvis got back home and everything and we caught up, well, Heiko, my German girlfriend, calls me and she says, hey, I got to run up the road. Do you want to go with me? And I'm like, yeah, I should, I should probably stay here and keep up with the housework and da, 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 da. And I said, yeah, why not? So I rode with her and she had to go up to the consignment shop. And I have been looking for a new purse or a new to me purse. So I even looked at some purses at the consignment shop. They were either too big or too little. I didn't see anything. So, um, so I go and clean for my lady today here. And she says, Becky says, I got some things in the storage. And I, I wanna see if you got time, you wanna go through it and uh, see if you want any of this stuff that I'm getting rid of. Now, her stuff is nice stuff. It's always nice stuff. And half my house, there's hardly a room in my house that doesn't have something in it that she has gifted me. And I always appreciate whatever she gifts me with. Well, digging into her little closet storage area, I was having to pull stuff out. And I picked up a big bag. And what was in that big bag? Purses. I'm going home with two purses right now. Real nice leather purses. And so there's that. I, sometimes you cannot thank God enough for what he does for you. And I thank him very much. I meant like, I don't deserve it. I, I, I haven't. I don't deserve any goodness I receive from him. But you know what? I'm no one special. He, I'm sure he does and is doing the exact same thing for you. 
here is another good thing. So one of my daughters has been without work for a couple of weeks and she's been praying, asking God to open up a door and I've been praying for it too and I keep telling her, Sarah said, trust me, he's working in your behalf and he already has a job, a job lined up for you. You just got to trust him. And I said, sometimes he'll make us wait before he opens up that door. But I can assure you, he will open up that door. Y'all, she called me today on my way to cleaning and says, Mom, I've got a job. I'm like, praise the Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you so much. And she said, it's the kind of job I always wanted. Uh, I don't have to work. Um... Uh, Saturdays and Sundays, it's a eight eight to four, nine to five job. Um, has paid vacation. It's got the insurance. It's got da da da, and they're starting me off like five dollars more than what I made at my previous job. I'm like, Sarah, you can't, you cannot thank the Lord enough. You cannot thank the Lord enough. She says, Oh, Mom. She says, That's all I've been doing. That's all I've been doing. So yes, it's like I said, sometimes. He answers our prayers like instantly. Sometimes he makes us wait. And but it goes like the the old saying, good things come to those who wait. And I always add to that good things come to those who wait and wait patiently on the Lord. So if you're praying about something, don't you stop. Don't you stop. God hears your prayers. He hears your prayers, and he's going to answer them. And y'all, when he does, give him the praise and the glory he so much deserves. I am no one special. I don't deserve anything he does for me. But I'm going to... I thank him very much. I thank him very much for providing each and every one of my needs and... Not only for the needs, he goes way beyond my needs. And I feel sure he does the same for y'all. So, just continue to believe and trust and keep that faith. Because he loves you like no other. And I'm so thankful he is my Heavenly Father. So, there's that, folks. There may po I may possibly do a makeup video when we get home because I told the lady I cleaned for, her, you know, it's 3.15 right now. And I still have about 20 minutes before I'm home. Um, so I'm thinking, we going out to eat tonight, folks. So I'll probably slap on some makeup when I go home. And if I do, maybe I'll do a video then too. Well, hope this is encouragement because that's what I meant for it to be encouraging because again and it's like I told my daughter and I, said, I told my friends the other day I said I'm so tickled and I'm so thankful and I know God hears my prayers and I know he hears yours as well but we all have those days of doubt and when I'm having a day of doubt remind me remind me Okay, y'all, I got to get off this phone because I'm about to get on the highway, and it's Friday, and the traffic's already heavy, and uh, it is a beautiful day. 66, it's reading in the car, and uh, thankful for the beautiful day. Okay, y'all, see ya.